Hey guys, this is Anik Gamer and today I'm gonna show you how to increase your internal memory through mount to SD. Okay, so first of all your phone has to be rooted and it should have a custom room and also a custom recovery. So if you have rooted your phone, you, you're gonna have a custom recovery, that's just stupid. Okay, so first of all, uh, let me just tell you, what it'll do is, it'll just reverse, you know, like, it'll it will just turn your SD's memory into like into your internal memory and your internal your SD's like if you made an SDSD partition of 2 GB it'll and you have an internal memory of 150 MB so then it'll make, make the SD's XD's memory 150 MB and your internal memory 2 GB okay so before starting um, you need to make an SDXT partition and I'll show you how to do it okay so first of all what you gotta do I'm on HTC Explorer so and it's CM mini CM9 room. So I'm gonna go on to the recovery. Okay. So now I'm going to the recovery and from there I'll I'll make an SDXT partition. But I've already done so then I'll show you just how to do it. Uh, if you have a CWM, CWM that is the that is the clockwork mode or the TWRP recovery, it'll be just fine. Okay, so we have our recovery on set. So what you gotta do is go on advanced and then from there you must go to partition SD card. Okay there's another method for parti part partitioning SD card and that is from the mini tool partition from the computer so, but I don't think it might be that much easier that, that, it, that it this is. So what you gotta do is just partition SD card then select how much GB you want I, I would recommend you 1 GB or 2 GB that's the max okay so after I will not do it after doing this select the swap size as 0 and then proceed I'll not do it as I've done it already okay so it'll take some time and then after you have done it just re then just go back and reboot It will take some time to boot as it's a custom room. And of course if you want to see how to install a custom room on HTC Explorer you can just subscribe on my channel and then just check out the videos it's there. And yes, after you have installed mount to SD, 
always after reboot it will do this in this it's actually just you know making the dalvik cache and you know just moving them so it'll take just a take some time but not that much so it's just finished I'm tired. Okay, so now a phone is booted and it has made an SDXT partition. Okay, so once you have made your SDXT partition, you need to download this app called Mount to SD. Um, you can download it via play store or by internet I will recommend you to download you know by play store because it's just free it's a free app and after net you will have that package problem so after you have installed okay I'll just give you the link of mount to SD in my in my description so now start mount to SD okay where is it there we go and once you have started mount to sd at the first time it will just give you a kind of a pop up box and it will ask you to ask you to configure it there will be two options first to first to install the inet.d script and the busy box so just enable both of them and it will be fine so once you have done that just go on to configure and click this reverse mount now Make sure that you disable Dalvik cache in it because if you enable it your G apps and many of your apps will be gone. So just make sure that. After that just don't you know just don't use your own brain and you know you can mess anything up. So of course you can keep a backup if you are scared but I don't think it will be any of problem. So once now you got to restart your phone so I'll just check it again sorry reverse mount dali cache disabled okay so now I'll back out from it and I'm gonna reboot my phone and after that you can see the magic And make sure if you have you know link to SD or up to SD or into SD you uninstall them because 
you know the scripts can you know have a mess over with each other but i don't think that will happen Hey. Um, don't get scared if it's just on the boot menu that the boot screen because you know it just you know it is actually moving the, all the apps into the SD card so it will take time I'm not skipping anything because you know I would like to show you on this continuous take without any doubts or anything so okay so I'll do this thing again optimizing application and take some time so and then could I'm just gonna put the camera like this and you guys could forward it if you want because I think it's useless Just nineteen apps to go. Just eight apps to go. Okay, so all the apps are auto optimized and it's gonna start now. Okay. Mm. Okay guys, so our phone has rebooted and now we have made our internal memory 1 GB. So let's see the proof now okay just a second the phone is stabilizing you can see the Malto SD has been granted permissions there we go okay so I'll just click on this manage apps and voila my iPhone's internal memory is 150 MB and what you can see is not any illusion so congratulations to that okay so now your internal memory is 1 GB and you could do anything with it it's, there's no retri restriction on how many GB you want to just when you are just like when you are making your partition you can just select any any, any anything the maximum is like 4 GB so you can have the maximum of 4 GB internal so it's actually on low and legacy devices this kind of stuff because on high devices it's still like 15 to 10 GB the internal memory so hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe and please request or comment on any any other video you want to like have a tutorial on Rooting a phone or you know making how to make a custom room please request I'll surely upload one. Thank you